Hi everyone and happy Easter from me and I hope you're having a great day with uh, with all the family and uh, on that note if uh, my little two-year-old nephew may come running in here at any uh, any point so if he does then uh, apologies for that there's my Easter egg mini eggs I'm looking forward to diving into that and de demolishing it later and yeah a bit of an, an Easter message of hope really I don't want to go all religious on you I'm not a religious person uh, but what is the story of Easter? Obviously a story of, uh, you know, Jesus rising from the dead. And I think it can be symbolic, like many stories in the Bible. You know, the original stories of, you know, what it is to be human, of human existence, really. And I think that it's quite emblematic, really, the story of Easter. Of something tangible I see happening as I look around. And as I say, I'm not a religious person but I do believe in God in a higher power than myself and I think for me uh, it's important to, to believe in a, in a greater power and like I said as I, as I look around I see a a real spirit of togetherness that's starting to form of connection and, and po real positive values that are starting to show themselves. I was on a big long walk this morning and I saw families visiting each other, taking bunches of daffodils and tulips and obviously Easter eggs. Hell of a lot of Easter, kind of like paraphernalia really, outside people's houses. Uh, Easter wreaths on doors, big blow up Easter bunnies in the garden. Happy Easter, bunting and banners and all this kind of thing. And it's a very, very welcome and reassuring reminder that yes, this is a Christian country still with Christian values. And that is so, so important for us to be able to celebrate and to be able to feel comfortable in, in celebrating. And I feel I am feeling a lot more optimistic recently. I really am. And I've talked about this quite a bit in the last uh, in the last few days. Spirit of togetherness, spirit of connection, spirit of community, a spirit of celebration. Of all the things that have made us who we are, have made this society what it is, this country what it is, family, patriotism, religion, all of these real positive uh, values that our society has been founded on. And I see a resurrection of those values and I can see it, I can feel it, and it's absolutely amazing and uplifting and invigorating to see. Now this is alongside the separate movement of those who are choosing to, be, uh, to live lives uh, governed by, by fear all the time. And I just want to say to anyone who's continuing to be enslaved by fear, try now's the time to break free, surely. You know, embrace what is positive, embrace optimism, embrace hope, togetherness, community, connection. Go and hug your family. Go and socialize. Rip off the dirty, disgusting symbols of oppression, oppression, and consign them. To the dustbin of history, which is where they belong. And let's get back to those times of, you know, these happy times of optimism and, and hope where we talk to each other, where we hug each other. You know, family, friends, celebrating together. I am seeing it now. I am. And it's absolutely brilliant to see. And the more and more and more people that, you know, that, that can realise that what we've, what we've lost and what we've decided to throw away, that we can take back, we can take back right now. That's what we need to do. So yeah, an optimistic Easter message for you. Have a great rest of the day. Like I say, I hope you're spending it with family and I hope you're having a great time. Enjoy those Easter eggs and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.